So good evening all, Renata Daniel here and Anne Rekovich and we are in a hotel room but this is a very special hotel room. It is in the Ostrich Inn in a little village just near Heathrow Airport. If you listen very carefully, you will actually hear the aeroplanes going past in the background. Anne is currently listening to a playback of a recording that we made just a little bit earlier while one of the staff was here and telling us a few stories. Hi Michelle, about the room and we just have some K2 meters up on the bed as well. They're going off crazily at the moment. I'm trying to be as far away from them as I can. Uh, Anne also has a SB11, which we might use a little bit later on. And in the bathroom, is a REM pod set up. Now you may kind of look at this room and go well it's just a standard hotel room. But the Ostrich Inn goes back to a time when there were really foul and gruesome things happening in this particular inn. This is literally the Sweeney Todd room and when I talk about that I mean that the owner here, Mrs Garman and her husband made some money on the side. Hi Karen. And how they made it will make all the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. The bed, where it sits now, was the original site of the bed. But what Mrs. Garman would do, would she, she would murder the occupants of the bed while they were asleep. The bed would then flip up and the dead bodies would drop down into the cellar beneath. So the dead bodies would drop. Around the same point where this bathroom now is and the shower is. Try and turn the light on. There you go. So where the shower now is is where the drop was that would open up. So the bed would flip and the bodies would slide down into the drop here that would open up to take the bodies of those that were murdered in this particular room. And she would make some lovely pies out of these poor souls. Isn't that bizarre? Hi Jen. Now Mrs Garman was later taken away and hung for all of these murders. So it is something that really did happen here. So we're not making this story up, it happened here. Now there are also allegedly two children in spirit downstairs in one of the function rooms. And this particular hotel room is often booked out by ghost hunters who wish to spend the night here. Unfortunately it's not our room for the night but we've been allowed in for some time to see if we could pick up on anything. And those K2s are going off like crazy on the bed right now. 
um, we're in another room down the hallway. But Anne has felt her head being touched while being in this room. The lady that was here beforehand, one of the staff, also felt that she had her hair touched. And I did give her a few bits of information about what this particular spirit was telling me to tell this particular lady that works here because the spirit was very, very much associated with her in a way where she knew everything about her actually so I could tell her a few things that meant something uh, and validated the messages that were coming through. So sometimes spirits really do reach out um, and whether you want to call them lost or associated here in some way, um, trapped, whatever you might want to say that they are, um, they do reach out to the living and they do connect. Sometimes they make deep and long lasting connections where they uh, associate themselves with the family, not in a bad way way at all, not in a way that is um, malevolent or nasty, but they continue, I guess, to live vicariously through the living. So Karen, yes, very gruesome way to die, isn't it? Very, very horrible that people would come here to spend a night and literally disappear. You found something in? Have you found something? You know when I said um, not good for baggy to Laos, did you say something? Um, no, not that I can remember. need to find it back there. Um, remember I was talking about we could have saved money by flying broomsticks from around the world? Yes. Did you say anything about the baggage allowance? No, no, no. Not very loud. Yeah. There it is. After I say baggage allowance, there is a voice. Baggage allowance, So are you, are you feeling it? Just before she speaks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'll do it again. I did hear something, yeah. I think it's in here. Um, yes, there's at least one person here, but I'm actually wondering what... Oh, no, that was, sorry, didn't go back far enough. <laughs> Not good on baggage allowance, sir. So are you... Are you yeah, there's something there. Yeah, yeah. um... Uh, yes. Hmm. Mm. It doesn't okay. sound like you, it sounds like a man. I'm trying to work out what it says. It might come across louder if I put it on headphones. Alright, you put the headphones on, you okay. have a listen. In the meantime, do you want to Oops. Um, tell them the story about... Um... Okay. Hold on, I'll listen. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what she's told you so far. It's at 9.22. Um... So this was Mrs... Hi, oh, yeah, I can, I can hear that. Yeah. Uh, Mrs Garman used to be the innkeep here and this room was where all oh, geez the k2s are going berserk when we start talking about her now i'm not sure if it's because we're live uh, or whether we're, we're talking about her i know we all love k2s they're a love hate machine but they're going feral i'm going to point the other way yeah they calm down i'm going to point back towards them and they go nuts. So, yeah, it probably is the live feed. All right, so Mrs. Garman was the innkeeper here. 
and uh, she had uh, guests that would come and stay in this room and their beds would be facing in that direction. Now if you notice here we've got a trap door up there and we've got extra support beams there. The reason being is apparently she used to have a system rigged up that the customer would come in here, a nice rich customer, they'd lay down at night to go to sleep and part way through the night I think is it that no Renata's on the headphones. I can hear the whisper most yes. definitely, yeah. but I cannot work out what Yeah, I saying. can't either. I'll have to listen on the thing. So was it they had a blade in here that fell down and chopped their heads off? I think so. I think yeah. that's the storyline. So the the blade would fall down, chop their heads off, then this bed slide off into a pit that was here so their bodies would go down into the kitchen below where she would take the meat from their flesh and mince them up and cook with the meat now you may have heard oh, came up pie maker recipes great <laughs> <laughs> thanks Karen uh, you may have heard of Sweeney Todd uh, apparently Sweeney Todd is a fictional thing but Mrs. Garman is not. is not. She is real. It's interesting when you talk about Mrs. Garman, how those yeah. tattoos go up. I'm but turn I'm, the lights off. I think it's more that it's the feed that we've got going here because if I turn around this way, oh, see right. how it okay. stops? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have so to be aware that, the, right. that, is, that is the live feed sending them nuts. Um, so, yes, um, and she did this for quite some time. Now, one of the sightings that have been seen by the staff in here is of a lady with short, or not short black hair, shoulder length black hair and uh, wearing a nightgown that came down to the wrists and flowed down past the knees, but they had no ankles, no feet. A floating apparition and then they historically they looked up the information on Mrs. Garman and it turns out that that's what she was taken out to be hung in that exact outfit so um, Renata just did a reading for the lovely lady that was here who's opened up the room to let us in did you tell them about your reading no, I didn't. I just we said can't it. tell you the personal details, but let's just say Renata got very personal and accurate with health issues in family, um, and also uh, their uh, children with specific uh, um, talents, and also their dogs. So yeah, I know that was this, really this poor well. lady. So this good. poor lady has now walked out going, "Holy shit!" <laughs> it's, that's so good. it's not a medium that's going. Mm, I smell a chemical smell as they're standing next to the broom closet <laughs> <laughs> or into the kitchen where they've just finished service an hour ago saying, mm, I smell food. Yeah. yeah. So you know what we do now? We say, come on, spirit. <laughs> sure, a sign. Hi, Joy. Hi, Belinda. As your computer was writing on its own, came up Pie Maker Recipes Tips and Ideas Australia. <laughs> That's hilarious when we're talking about Mrs. Garman making pies out of the human flesh. Now it does look like a normal um, hotel a beautiful room. Beautiful hotel room. Uh, and so it's really kind of hard to get a feel for what it is may have looked like although they have a makeup model downstairs they have a model of this room and what it probably looked like when mrs garman was here so what we'll do is we'll take a photo of that model and post it up um, as a link so that you can kind of then imagine what this whole scenario would have been back then when mrs garman was in operation mm. And our lovely host who enjoyed Renata's reading so much has gone downstairs now to get the general manager and send them up here. Because <laughs> she's just stunned. Now, would you like me to set up the spirit box? Yes, that would be All great. Right. You want to grab that? Yeah. We now have 14 wonderful people watching. 
Hey guys. Hey little Joe, how are you? So um, we are sitting in a hotel room in a very haunted, haunted hotel um, called the Ostrich Inn, which is very, very close to Heathrow Airport. And this room is significant because it had some very atrocious things happening here. Um, literally heads being chopped off and bodies being munched up to be made into pies for people to eat. So as Anne said before, even though the Sweeney Todd character may be fictional, it is based on real life factual things that occurred and the lady that was here was Mrs. Garman. So we're going to call out Not to Mrs. Lovett and her lovely pies. No, Mrs. Garman, and we're going to call out to her now to see if we can get some information from her. So I'm thinking we might leave just the spirit box on the speaker. Yes, yeah, so everyone can hear. So everyone can hear so it. So maybe so they can not think we're making this shit up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to turn off the side light. Yeah. So it will go dark. But you'll be able to hear it. And that way you won't be able to tell who farted. <laughs> and yes, the K2 meters are going off because I'm standing here doing a live feed. Uh, and it's affecting. it's affecting the K2 meters. So please disregard the K2s. Although there is something, someone, something, someone standing behind me and playing with my hair. Hello, Nalene. They're very into hair. Yes. So we discovered. Yes, very into hair, very much so into the hair that they no longer have. At dinner time. And the head they down, no longer have. Yes, when I was sitting down at the dinner table, I felt... Somebody do that, and it was like a whole heap. Oh, you can't see it's bloody dark. <laughs> There's your torch, Renata. Oh, my torch is your dead. Torch is dead. Hang on, let, let me grab my phone. So, we, we had a beautiful dinner downstairs. So, I felt someone do this. What's that noise? It's people outside. Danielle, yes, we're just up here now. Um, yes. We've just scared some customers. <laughs> but you, I heard you talking, did you have ghost stories, didn't you? Yeah, we were just in our room. Where did we go to that? Actually, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> we're doing an investigation in here. Oh my what, God. ghost one? Yeah. Are you ghost hunting? Yes. Are you literally looking at it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going there. <laughs> this is the room where the bed went up. Yep. This is oh, the you're live on Facebook at the moment. I hope it's oh, okay. Hi. Say hello to everyone in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is just thumping. Where's that oh, thing? There was silence. Oh my god, what so is catches. <laughs> Renata is doing a live feed on Facebook, which is sending electromagnetic fields <laughs> over this way. So if I move this way, it'll you stop. Other way. See how it stopped? And oh, it yes. comes back out. Oh, my and that's, God, no. that's what's setting that off. But we were just about to do a spirit box session. <laughs> oh, oh, that? We have an SV11. So we're from Australia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we hi. Hi. I sell paranormal <laughs> equipment for a living. Renata's a professional medium. Um, and we run a, a group called Frightfully Good. Hi, Frightfully Good um, oh. on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> They're very excited. Don't be scared. <laughs> Tell me, what happened to you? What was your story? Um, actually, we just saw, uh, I heard about this place uh, from my work. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I literally didn't know what's happening here. 
uh, before I came here, but when while we was eating and um, having fun, the guys were telling the story. <laughs> so literally, I was so scared to go upstairs to wee. <laughs> So I was hoping to go back to work. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I've been here three times. This is my fourth time. Yeah. And I've never ever been in toilet before. Yeah. Since today because I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> so and obviously I'm more, you know, like a braver. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not scared of ghosts. I'm, I'm not scared of ghosts. I can clearly go and you know we. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. I just. I heard the story about the, you know, the Orlando and his wife killing the people. Mrs. Garland. Yeah, they opening the thing under so the bed and the just the people sliding the down the into the boiling here. water, I think. Yeah. Some kind of. Um, so the bed was here, and um, I think they told us that they, there was some sort of blade that cut their throat. <gasps> I, I don't know. And about then it, it tips but... up, and the yeah. hole that they went through was in here. Oh, oh my god! Here. So we've got a little red yeah. so I'll take you. Um, wow. So this is a proximity sensor, so if anything comes near it, yeah. it'll go off. Oh my god. Shake it goes up now. I'm going to run. Oh really? It's what? Yes, we've, voice we've caught a voice. That we yeah. didn't hear. You okay. a, can you see that? Oh my god, you heard a voice. Yeah, I can show. I can show you. Oh my god! How did you know what? As much as I love you, I hate you so much that you dragged me upstairs. Look. It's that. You'll hear me say something like, um, "I was making comments like um, we we could have flown here like witches on a broom, um, but the baggage allowance wouldn't be good." And as I say, baggage allowance. You'll hear a voice speak, and then you'll hear the other lady say something. So it's, it's a whisper. Up. It's a whisper. So we're from Australia. Like a something like Bluetooth. Yeah. 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 Ye
I was like, no, I saw someone. I saw someone there. And then somebody just pulled my, you know, yeah, yeah. shirt, touched my forehead. It's like, mm. I was like, people are laughing. <laughs> I don't believe in stuff like that, but it's literally happened here. Yeah, yeah. It's literally happened here. So, Facebook, friend, yeah. you have to believe me. Yes, and, it, and my friend as well. Yeah. This is, like, yeah. This was two years ago. Yeah. So, it was. I, I think it was the same time because I left the company with, uh, I work with. Uh, it's gonna be March two years ago. Mm -hmm. So it was like, let's say, let's say two years ago. So this yeah. what happened. But I literally saw it. Nobody wants to believe me. I oh, know we believe you. Thanks. Yeah, that was really, really creepy, isn't it? So you wanna hear the spirit box? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are that. The other guys are going to worry, but you are. They probably were. They, they probably worry. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll do it. We'll do a few minutes with the spirit box because I've still got people on live here, yeah. and then we'll we'll stop the live because we'll be going. We'll, would have been going Can for a while. Can I call long. my daughter here? Um, just she, she's there. I, I think calling she's calling. Like we haven't come back. <laughs> we were upstairs. That's how we said we were going in pairs. It was the best reaction to hear that scream. Oh, when that door, we could see the hand just slowly. She said, I'm going to meet you. Hi. <laughs> this is the room. This, this is the room. room. Where the bodies went down into the bed. Down shoot. Shoot. Yeah, like in Facebook now. <laughs> say, say hello. <laughs> We're just collecting people. <laughs> I know. That's just family. Uh, which, who else so it's just family. family. Okay, yep, that's okay. Two years ago, this year was in Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne, yeah, yes. Yeah, Melbourne. we're in Newcastle, which oh, they've got yes, the supercar yes. race on there this weekend, so we're glad oh. you Yes, Danielle. <laughs> yeah. Can, we, can yeah. we listen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what this does is this sweeps through the radio waves at a very rapid rate. So it goes... I am going to turn this big light off. Yeah, we will go dark. Can I go in the middle? And they they speak through the white noise, or mm -hmm. they take words from the radio frequencies to talk to us. We hope. <gasps> so I'm leaving. 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 Bye. No, stay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh my God. This is what we frighten you all. <laughs> Look how brave we are. I'm going to close oh, my you're ears. Oh, so brave. What do you think? Hello? Are you a man or a woman? themselves, shit themselves. Mrs. Garman. Mrs. Garman. How many did you kill, Mrs. Garman? Eight. 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 Eight.
It'd have to be pork. I'm hoping she says it. Mrs. Garvin, what sort of meat do you, did you tell people they were eating? Headphones. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to just finish off this live feed for the moment. We're going. I'm going to go on headphones and see if I can get um, any more information. Uh, what we might do is turn on the voice recorder so that we can um, tape this session so that if anything comes up, you'll be able to hear it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on headphones. Uh, and we'll ask the questions and we will record the session for you. But I will close off this live for now. <laughs>